Neighbor called the cops on me smoking weed so I outed him to his family. First off, where I'm from, weed is illegal. I'm very conscious about the smell, and I understand that for non-smokers the smell of weed is horrendous. I completely understand why and I always do my best to avoid any discomfort to anyone. That's why I usually smoke late at night, when I know that everyone should be asleep, including my downstairs neighbors. We live in an old apartment building. The thing with this guy is that he's a heavy tobacco smoker, and I can always hear him coming in and out of the terrace, mostly because he shuts that door so damn hard that all the walls shake. From the pattern of slamming doors, I can tell that he smokes his last cig at around 2.30am, therefore I decided to go for my nightly puff at 3am. I opened the windows, turned on the oil diffuser that is also anti-tobacco, and lit up my joint. Fifteen minutes later, cops knock on my door, alongside them is my neighbor, and I get taken to the PD for statements. I end up with a warning for possession, a fine for disturbing the peace at night and a sleepless night. Before this point, he wasn't exactly a friendly neighbor either, but his wife was sweet, from the few interactions I had with her. The first few days after I moved in he always gave me the death stare, but I assumed he was just grumpy. Fast forward a few days, I'm scrolling through Grindry when a new profile pops up at the very top of the list. All my neighbors all mostly elderly people, so I was quite confused as to who this is. I clicked on his profile, and it was him. I started a conversation with him, sent him a pic of a friend with consent to pretend I was him, and a couple of hours later we were sexting and he sent me a couple of nudes. The next morning, I caught his wife before going to work and showed her everything. When he came home from work, I could hear a lot of crying and he eventually got kicked out. It's worth mentioning that they also have a 16 years old kid. I'm very satisfied with my revenge, but I also feel terribly sorry for both the wife and child, they didn't deserve this. What do you think? Thankfully you were the one who outed him to his wife. Wonder how long he'd been cheating to begin with. She needed to know. A cheater is a cheater, would have been the same if he was straight. Wait, I thought pot smokers were mellow. Just kidding, he deserved it for cheating and being an a-dollar-dollar dollar hole. He shouldn't have thrown stones from a glass house. He had it coming. Neighbor wanted to fuck, now regretting getting fucked. Learn to make edibles to prevent repeats. And yeah, let him rot. If you're doing it at 3 a.m. just to avoid attention, you're definitely not disturbing the peace. My stance on victimless crime is the respect to the other's right equals peace. Not the asshole. this is a prime example as to why you don't go jacking with people. They can come back and wreck your world. By the way, I wonder how many times he kissed his wife with dick breath. What do I think? I think it's total and utter bullshit. What do I think? What state do you live in where cops will show up 15 minutes after a call for weed? Good job. This is the only reason to out someone. He could have brought any STD home to his poor wife. Fuck that guy for getting you arrested in the middle. Of the night. From the headline I was ready to hate you, but having read the post, good one. LOL this is on him. He could easily not try to cheat on his wife. Regardless of his sexuality, he was already doing his family dirty. You just happened to uncover it. What country is so strict about weed that the cops come out immediately when alerted someone is smoking but also so lenient that all you get is a warning? And a fine for DTP but for the pot just a warning. This sounds fake AF. Of all the made-up stories I read in Reddit today this is my favorite. Nah he deserved that shit. Sure you started hell on earth for the wife and maybe the kid but. TBH you just cleared her from so much wasted time and the sooner she finds out the sooner she can move on to a healthier life. You did well. Shit. You did G-R-R-R-E-A-T. Ha suck it, knock. LOL this sounds so fake. That's what I think. 
that never happened. Don't open the door. They can't break down your door or get a search warrant for some random neighbor saying they smelled weed. Never open the door, never talk to cops. Seems like you improved the neighborhood. I hope your state legalizes soon my fellow flower lover. Watch out for the blowback. He got you arrested in the middle of the night. And his wife should know he could bring home all kinds of diseases. Not against free sex, but Tinder is a hookup spot. Repetitious one-nighters puts you at a higher risk. You did good. He deserved it. At least now you can smoke in peace, and also, dude, if you are worried about the smell joints are not the way to go. Take small hits from a glass bowl. Don't leave the bowl smoldering, cap it with your fingers. Exhale through a paper towel tube filled with drier sheets. Enjoy life. He probably lashed out and called the cops at you and generally is a miserable human because he's closeted. He saw a chance to ruin someone else's day and he took it maybe you saved him by getting him out of his marriage and you def saved his wife and kid. They deserved the truth. Gay or not he was cheating on his life partner and it's better they knew. He'd think twice before sticking his nose in on someone in future so you've done the right thing. If it was a young person not in control of their living situation it'd have been wrong to out them. This guy can learn the hard way what tolerant behavior is. Everything was solid but your delivery. You bringing it to his wife means that he knows it was you who outed him. You ruined the guy's life. I would be worried of him returning the favor with lethal revenge. Godspeed. When I smell my neighbor's smoking pot I just think man I wish they would invite me. Invest in a dry herb vape my dude. I'm Canadian and kinda gobsmacked that you'd go to jail over pot. That's insane. And stupid. Your neighbor deserved everything he got. Mind your own business and people won't mind yours. His poor wife and kids though, I wonder what nasty STDs he's brought home to his wife. Hopefully he used protection. Sad story. Get a portable dry herb vape. There's no smell, and your lungs will be happier. Fuck that dude he sounds like a dick anyway. It does suck for the family, but she needed to know that. I think this is only positives. You lost a shit neighbor and your neighbor lost a shit husband. I spent almost 50 years believing everyone has some good inside and deserves to live their life. Not anymore. There are too many people who live to cause problems for others. You did great this guy is living his life as a complete lie. Fuck him good for you more he has to come to grips with himself. He'll either sink or swim, and honestly, the world won't notice if he sinks. Might sound harsh, but our society needs more truth, and less assholes. You're right, his family didn't deserve this, but you didn't do this to them, he did. Better they should know who he really eyed. He was probably so damned grumpy because he was living a double life. Happened to a friend of mine he was also 16 his dad was always unhappy. Finally came out, divorced the mom, ended up with a live in boyfriend and mellowed out. Friend reconciled his relationship with his dad about 10 years later. Worked out in the end. You didn't do anything wrong. OP, the hero we need, and deserve. They didn't deserve to have a cheating, lying idiot for a parent spouse really. Cat's wild oats came home to roost. You FKN nailed it. Don't start no shit, won't be no shit. Old man broke the golden rule to mind his own damn business. Elmfau sounds like that douchbag fucked around and found out. Rolling on the floor laughing. I say you did a great job. But I'm kind of an asshole. What I think. Creative writing is interesting, but not the first time someone has told this story. You sound like a massive cunt. Wow so many helpful coincidences in one neatly packed story. Yeah this sounds like the fakest shit to me.